Yeah. Thank you for your question. And then thank you for the, your comment on the, my presentation. And I think you asked about the you know, complexity of the triple helix systems in terms of the expansion to the other institutional actors. And the part one is primarily based upon uh, three triple helix interactions of the university industry and government. But uh, in part two, you know, I'm not presenting because of the, the time constraint, but uh, I introduced you know, the other factors affecting the triple helix systems. Also, you know, there are several new and emerging concepts of triple helix. So I recommend you to go into the part two of the, my uh, video lecture for the today's seminar. Is it okay? Yes, I will share with other participants the two parts of the video. Thank you. Thank you very much for putting the part. Thank you. Any other question or just a comment? Professor Park, Hamu Park, here is Maria Aurero from the University of Valencia as well. I would like to ask you if you could go a little bit in depth uh, regarding the negative consequences of the overlappings, of the non-balanced overlappings, or the possibility to have different configurations of triple helix models. I don't know if there are like super negative consequences if this is not balanced, which would be the um, the effect, you know, in the in the society or in the open innovation processes. Thank you. Yes, you know, as far as I understand correctly, because there is some the, the howling from the microphone, but uh, I think you are asking the you know there is some you know there is some space which do not have the you know redundancy with the, the other actors. So, for example, like university, industry, and government, uh, they also they can be isolated from the you know, the other partners. In that case, you know, there will be some independent section of the each institutional actor. But you know, even though they are operating independently from the you know entire system of triple helix. They have their own functions, and then they may generate some synergy to influence mutual interaction. So the consequence, I think you asked the, the consequence of the you know, mutual interactions. So the consequence the, can have the several impact on the you know, entire configuration of the structure. I think that's you know what I can say at the moment. Thank you very much, Professor Park. Um, any other question from here or as from from home? The people that are online can ask just by the hand and uh, we will listen to you. Or any question in the room. Hi, Professor Park. I'm Norita Palo from the University of Group in Valencia. And I would like to know what well, my question is about the the slide of the picture where you were saying that if you create more uncertainty than can be managed in the 3D we can have some problems. 
So in which way or how can we know if we are surpassing or exceeding this, uh, this uncertainty pretty much? Thank you. Okay, so I think you are asking the uh, some kind of the measurement questions. Yes, and uh, in the discussion slide, I quoted Leder Stroff about the unbalance between input and output. And so Luch Leder Stroff, he developed an you know, empirical indicator of the triple helix based synergy. So, you know, using the Shannon's Entropy theory, he provided a formula, mathematical formula, to calculate triple helix based in an entropy information. So, if you go to the, his homepage, I know he passed away, but his homepage is still in, in operation. So, there is the software, and you can download or also, you can calculate based upon his mathematical formula. So, and then we can, you know, compare the input and output in terms of the you know, balance system. Besides, his triple helix indicator, the using the in you know, Shannon's entropy, you could apply the some other indicator to the. You could apply some other indicator to the your own research. For example, you know, it's very easy, you know, to calculate cross tabulations. So in cross tabulation, you could see the difference, you know, between the input and outputs. I hope I can I I answer it to you. Thank you very much, Professor Park. I think that now we are on time, and I think it's. And thank you, thank you very much for sharing your knowledge and your research with us. And above all, when it is almost midnight, it's a correct thing. <laughs> so thank you very much for, for your effort being okay. here. Yeah, thank today. you very so much. And good night. It's almost midnight here. Okay, bye bye. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>